Welcome to Speed Vision. If you could choose, would you be Michael Schumacher's son? I believe that most people will definitely laugh out loud when they hear this question, is there such a thing as this? Who would say no? You know that Mike Schumacher is the richest athlete in the world. When he joined Ferrari in 1996, his salary was as high as 91 million pounds over four years. And the annual salary of the car king in the late stage of five consecutive championships is even close to 40 million euros. If the advertising endorsement fees and commissions from Ferrari-related souvenirs are included, the seven-time champion Michael's income in 2004 has exceeded 80 million euros, which does not include investment income in other personal fields. At the same time Michael Schumacher is the most successful driver in F1 history. He not only led Ferrari to complete the road to revival, but also promoted the great development of F1. The most important thing is that the son of the car king will be able to receive personal guidance from Schumacher. So with money, resources and the words and deeds of the industry's first person, who would refuse such a good thing? But there is really one person who at one time did not wish to even be very resistant to having the legendary surname of Schumacher. He is Mick Schumacher, the son of the car king who will lose his official F1 seat at the end of 2022. The first time I saw Mick on the live broadcast, my reaction was, oh, he is the son of the car king, he looks very handsome, but he doesn't seem to be that much like Schumacher, at least compared to his sister. Unexpectedly, Schumacher's son is already driving F2, and it is only a matter of time before this driver enters F1. When I saw his father driving a red Ferrari and was invincible, I was still in junior high school, and it has been 20 years in a flash. And since Michael Schumacher's accident in 2013, we can no longer see the high-spirited car king talking and laughing in front of everyone. And now that the Schumacher family has a successor, a great family name is about to enter F1 again, and the sport will get more attention because of it. But what is less known is that Michael Schumacher, F1's most influential driver, does not want the next generation to engage in racing. He even wants his son to play tennis or golf, because he understands that the greater his achievements, the greater the pressure on his son. But it is clear that Schumacher underestimated the powerful influence of his bloodline. When three-year-old Mick climbed into the toy car and drove off, the plot of inheriting his father's career was inevitably put on the agenda. In 2008, Mick took part in karting under his mother's surname. Because of his low-key personality and very good secrecy measures, the outside media did not pay special attention to the existence of the son of the car king. In such an environment, Mick was able to enjoy the pure joy of racing. It's a pity that the good times didn't last long. In December 2013, Mike Schumacher suffered severe brain injuries in an accident at the Marable Ski Resort in France. He was immediately rescued to save his life, but his state was no different from that of a vegetative state. Losing his father's protection, Mick's racing career was full of positions and challenges. In 2015, after careful consideration, Mick chose to change his father's surname back to compete in German F4. Originally, this was just an ordinary driver's rookie season, but Schumacher's surname made media reporters frantically chase Mick. The reporters surrounded him tightly, just like his father back then. People followed him wherever he went. Someone filmed him while having a meal, and there was no privacy when he was resting. When there is a picture of him in the game broadcast, the commentator will specifically emphasize several times that he is the son of the car king. In the face of excessive attention from the outside world, Mick had to restrain his emotions and properly manage his facial expressions. He couldn't be unrestrained when he was proud, and he couldn't be depressed when he was depressed. His words and deeds must not be based on personal likes and dislikes, just because he is the son of the car king. A 16-year-old boy seemed to be put on a mask with a preset expression. And this is only his first year in formula racing. As Mick grew up, the media began to actively hype Schumacher's return to F1 as a news hotspot. Mick is basically present in commemorative activities related to his father. He was encouraged and even a little excited at first, 
but as time passed, he began to feel the pressure of being influenced by his father's great achievements in F1. In the first year of F3 and F2, Mick only achieved 10th place, but he received more attention than the champion driver. But the reporter's questions were almost all about his father. That is to say, if there is no Schumacher in his surname, then he will be ignored. The identity of the son of the car king gradually turned into a double-edged sword, and the side that laughed at Mick was obviously sharper. After successively winning F3 and F2 championships, Mick finally entered F1. He signed with the Haas team as an official driver for the 2021 season. But the pressure on him didn't go away, and F1 cars were clearly more difficult to drive. Even after a year of training, Mick still has accidents in the 2022 season. Haas also ranks first among the 10 teams in the paddock for repair costs. This kind of performance made people who had doubts about Mick's F2 championship before began to move up the theory that Ferrari technicians specially tuned the car for him. We don't know whether Mick's mentality has been affected by this, but his official seat has indeed been affected. Before the final race in 2022, the Haas team official announced that the son of the car king will leave Haas next season. And other teams have no intention of signing with Mick. Which means that the F1 career of the son of the car king will come to an end for the time being. Mick's experience is regrettable. Although it cannot be said that the F1 career of the son of the car king is over. Although it cannot be said that Mick's F1 career is over, but being expelled from the team and having no car to drive was indeed something his father, who was a seven-time champion, had never encountered before. This may be what Michael Schumacher was most worried about back then. His son may have mediocre qualifications, but he has to bear a heavy surname and be pointed at for the rest of his life. This may be the fate of Mick, but also the fate of the Schumacher family. I would love to say some words of encouragement, but the fact is that once you leave F1, it's very difficult to come back. Not to mention fighting for the championship, this is no ordinary game, it is the most brutal sport in the world. If one day he can return to F1 and finally win even one race championship, then I believe he will be remembered by the world just like his father's story. Some say it's unlikely, but it's really hard to be honest. But who knows what will happen in the future? This episode is coming to an end, and everyone is welcome to leave comments. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.